friends and happy day today. Welcome back to our channel on the Vogestead. This is Tabitha here and I am getting ready to plant some onion slicks. So I went to our local nursery yesterday and got some, whoop, some red onions and then I've got some Texas sweet yellow onions over in another tray. It is cold y'all. I'm, it is cold. It is frigid. It is cold, but the work of a gardener doesn't get to stop just because it's cold. This is a perfect time to plant these sweet little onion slicks right here. Here. These come in a bunch, as you kind of saw in the intro video that I shared. If you are gonna start onions from seed, they typically take a lot longer to get mature to harvest, usually about 100 to 120 days. Also, that depends on if you have a short day, an intermediate, or a long day. And what that signifies is the amount of daylight hours that is required for the seed to mature. When you, now when we're, we're gonna talk about onion slicks, these onion sets, when you are planting them into the ground, you're gonna plant them in at about two inches, one to two inches, depending on the size of the, the bulb at the bottom and you're gonna press them into the soil and just push up around it. And you want, the, you want to plant them about four to six inches apart. I'm gonna be planting these about four inches apart. I have two little spots that I am going to be planting them in. Let me show you that really quick. Here is a rough drawing of the garden plan. This is not to scale, it's just something I quickly drew up on my iPad. So you can see right here in the black, this is what we already have planted, some onions and garlic. In the blue is what I will be planting. When I went out there yesterday, I did notice I have room over here for probably another row and I have room over here. So this is going to kind of be a little bit of a Frankenstein part of the garden patch because I'm going to have rows going opposite ways. We're just going to make sure we mark them, which is good because I was able to get a lot more sets than I had originally anticipated. So I'm going to be putting onions also on this side across the top and then we're going to do a few rows of onions over here. I also have these seed onions and I have a hundred of these. Let's gather everything up and bundle up and head outside. When I say it's cold, it's like 48 degrees, but the wind, oh, it'll cut you like a knife. Update on the weed fabric. We did, oh, he likes to walk right under your feet. We did order more and it should, it's not gonna be here until next Friday. We actually ended up finding the same type of weed fabric that we ordered at Walmart on clearance for a really great deal. So we went ahead and ordered it. The only problem is, is it's not gonna be here until next Friday. Here you can see, I've already got this row of onions going. These I grew from seed. So that's, they're gonna take longer to mature. And then I've got garlic down there. I am going to do a row of onions going this way. And then I'm gonna do another row of onions going this way. So I'm gonna have to clean up this little garden bed here really quickly. with it you don't just want to rip it apart because they've got they've already got this established root system and if you just pull them apart you're gonna rip that root system and it's not super mature but mature enough that you want to be kind to it so in your sets they're gonna kind of come together and see how they're kind of stuck so so when you have your sets and you're kind of taking them apart you're just gonna kind of wiggle them kind of get some of that dirt out of there and just gently kind of loosen them up 
and you might have to do little and then see how it will just kind of pull apart on its own and so then I'm just gonna kind of so you can see how it's all stuck together it's got like soil dirt up in there from where they pulled it and then you're just gonna kind of gently wiggle 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 and you'll kind of feel which ones loosen up first. It's like that one's pretty loose. So I'm just gonna gently and just kind of slowly tug and wiggle it free. Never just pull it, kind of work with the root so you'll see it kind of release. And then we have this, these two last bits here and you just, just like that. Kind of think about like getting tangles out of your kid's hair. Like you don't just wanna rip it or taking a band-aid off. You don't just wanna, well, maybe a band-aid is not a good analogy. And we're just gonna gently, these two are obviously loose, so they'll be easier to come out. We're loose here. I mean, it's gonna take some time, but you wanna be, you don't wanna rip up this system. You know, they're all intertwined, but if you just rip it up, you just wasted potential food. So we got that pulled apart. So I'm literally just kind of making my walkways and my rows. And it's okay that I have all this stuff in here. This is just organic matter. And it's gonna help act like a natural mulch. Obviously pull up your weeds and such. start getting ready for work. I need to check the forecast and see if we're going to get any rain before I water these in. But the, you know, you want to water them in after you plant them. But if we can get some rain, that's a much preferred method. And I also, I didn't do all of them, but I kind of established my rows a little bit better. They've just kind of grown in over time. I obviously didn't get to weed through this part. This is garlic right here. I've got two different types of onions here. And of course I didn't write it down. Like I said, these onions I grew from seed. I've got garlic over there. Now I've got my red onion sets planted. It said 35, I believe is what I said. So I'll finish off some of the white ones there. And then I will probably continue this row all the way down to do another finished sets of whites. And then I'll do another set of whites here, another set of whites here, and then I'll probably have two rows of bulb seeds, of onion seeds. I'll probably do three rows of the onion bulbs, the seed, seed onions, and then the rest will be potatoes. I've got red potatoes and I just ordered some Yukon Gold. Yukon Gold is not going to ship until about March, which you don't plant those until you're a couple weeks out from your last frost date because you don't want them to be machine rows. Anyway, I'm going to head back inside, get ready for work, and uh, I will continue this vlog later. Okay. Well, hello, friends. I am actually sitting here right now editing the video that you just watched. And I realized that I never came back and showed you guys what we ended up planting after I finished all the onion sets. And we ended up actually having to do like another two or three rows of the sweet onions. And then the bulbs, the, the onion bulbs, or what were, no, not onion bulbs, seed onions, right? Mm -hmm. We ended up doing another like five rows of those. And Ella ended up helping me with it. It was a super dreary, windy day. And I think it was sprinkling outside actually, so I didn't get to film. But I realized also, a couple things I realized. We were gonna plant potatoes right next to there. Well, I did some reading and about companion planting. And you really don't wanna plant tubers and onions in the same place. 
um, one leaches nutrients from the other and can really stunt the growth of your, I think it's of the tubers. The onions will stunt the growth of the, of the potatoes. It could be the other way around. I can't remember for certain. So not only did we figure that out, but additionally, there ended up not being as much room left because we had to plant so many additional rows. So the plan is to use that little extra space for flowers and just pretty things over there, maybe some herbs. And then that that strip of towards the north side of the garden that we didn't end up being able to cover because we ran out of woven weed fabric. The south side. Oh, it's the south side. I lied to you. The, the woven weed fabric. We actually decided to put the potatoes over there on the opposite side, That's the plan. And the fabric actually ended up coming like the next day. I just wanted to jump on. Shrimp, say hi. Hi, Shrimpy. Shrimp is our oldest baby. We got her right after we got married. I got her for Justin. He's the cat guy. I am a dog girl, um, but she, I do love her, I guess. Uh, she's gotten sweeter in her old age. She's, is she 13 yet? Almost. She's almost 13. Her grandma and her mom lived beyond 21, so. Shrimp, can you say bye? Say bye, friends. Shrimpy. Right here. See, she don't give me no mind. She would kiss Justin. Okay, see you later, guys. Bye.